question 5 from the 2006 HSC exam. So we want to sketch this function pretty much. So f of x equal to 2x squared times open bracket 3 minus x close bracket. So the first thing So the first thing that we want to do is find the coordinates of turning point of y equal to f of x and determine the nature. Now to find the coordinates of the turning point, the first thing you need to do is find the first derivative of the function. So you need to differentiate. Okay, so part one, instead of differentiating this using the product rule, we would differentiate this u um, normally by expanding your brackets. So you will expand your bracket, then you will have 6x squared minus 2x cubed. So f dash of x equals to 12x minus 6x squared. And turning point or stationary point occurs when the first derivative equals to 0. So you write this stationary so you have 12x minus 6x squared equal to 0 factorize hence x equal to 0 and x equal to 2 are stationary point now be very careful, the question asks you to find the coordinates of the turning point. So just the x coordinates is not enough, you need to also find the y coordinates. So when x equal to 0, f of 0 is and when x equal to 2, we have f of 2 equal to 6 times 2 squared minus 2 times 2 cubed. So you can see that that would be 24 minus 16, which is 8. So the two stationary points are 0, 0 and 2, 8. The next thing you need to do is determine the nature. Now for this particular question, it's easier if you use the second derivative to determine the nature, although you can also use the first derivative table to test um, the gradient to the left and to the right of each stationary point. So let's use the second derivative because that's easier in this case. So f double dash equals to 12 minus uh, 12x so when x equal to 0, s, f double dash of 0 is 12 times minus 12 times 0 equal to 12. Now when you determine the nature, you don't really care about the, in, the actual value. You only care about whether this value is a positive value or a negative value. Since this is a positive value, so what do we do? Since it's positive, you will smile, then you will have a minimum point. So therefore, 0, 0 is a minimum point. Now when x equal to 2, then you substitute 2 into the second derivative. Twelve minus twenty-four, which equal to minus twelve. Now again we don't care about the individual value, we just care about the sign. This is negative. So it's less than zero. Now since it's negative, we would cry. And when you cry, you have a maximum point. So therefore, 2, 8 is a maximum point. Now let's do the second part. Find the coordinates of this point of inflection. Now as from part one, we found these three particular equations, so that's why I wrote them here and we need to use them. The point of inflection occurs when f double dash equal to zero. So we write
So you have 12 minus 12x equal to 0, which is 12x equal to 12, so x equal to 1. You must test your point of inflection by using the second derivative table. Okay, so you have one, one to the power of negative means a bit less than one, so you use the point 0 0.9, and one plus means a bit more than one, so we use the point 1.1. 1 .1. So, when you substitute one into your second derivative, you get zero. When you substitute 1.9 to your second derivative, you will get a positive um, value. And when you substitute 1.1 1 .1 into your second derivative, you should get a negative value. You can do all of this in your calculator. Now, as long as it change um, in sign, it shows that there is a change of concavity. So therefore, x equal to 1 is a point of inflection. Okay? Now, that's just the x coordinate. So what you need to do now is find your y coordinate. So when x equal to 1, f of 1 equal to, so we have 6 minus 2, which equal to 4. So therefore, 1, 4 is a point of inflection.